my YouTube channel, everyone, Career Savage. I decided to shoot an impromptu interview with a coffee shop owner in the Bahamas, so that's why this angle is gonna be a little weird, but let's just jump right in. Hi, everyone, I'm here with Kyle, and the name of this coffee shop is... Bon Vivant. Bon Vivant. How do you come up with that name? Uh, it was, we also own a wine store, um, okay. and part of what we do is kind of creating a uh, good life, so to speak. Yeah. Uh, and Bobby Vaughn's It's very luxe. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, um, the coffee shop itself, it, the name is, uh, comes from a, the French term of someone who lives well. Um, so oh, a okay. good liver, so to speak. Okay. Um, uh, there's not like a direct translation for, for us uh, in, okay. in English, but it's like a, someone who lives really well. So do you come up with all the idea for this, like the aesthetics, everything, you came up with this? Yeah, this is kind of my baby for wow. the last two years getting everything together because this was a new construction building, so you know we had two years to kind of get everything in place that we really wanted. Okay, so when we first met up, you said that you went to art school. Yeah. So can you talk a little bit about that? Where'd you go to school? How was that experience for you? Good. Uh, I went to Savannah College of Art and Design. So um, where's Savannah College? Savannah, Georgia. Okay, um, yeah. Georgia boy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, it's one of those things where I, I went to school for illustration, right. and as any most people who graduated out, out of an art school, yeah. kind of like, what's my next step? Right, right, right. right. It's, it's a very I feel like that's kind everyone. of yeah, well, yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> you know, in, in the arts world, it can be a bit scary because right, right, you know, right. the jobs are are pretty kind of. You know, skim. Yeah, yeah, skim, and and you got to find the right thing that you kind of went to school for. So right. I did illustration. Um, I ended up. I wanted to be an art teacher eventually. Right. Um, ended up uh, moving to New York City, bartending, and that's where I became kind of obsessed with the whole cocktail world oh, yeah, and, and okay. coffee culture and all that kind of stuff. So. That kind of played into um, my dream, and 15 years later, yeah. we're open and finally opening this place up. So I want to touch on 15 years later, and I just observing this place. Mm -hmm. Your art degree did come to life here, absolutely. Because well, <laughs> yeah. I mean, and every detail, every touch, from the wallpaper to the floor, like yeah. everything is really like to the T. So do you feel like you were able to use your degree at least? Absolutely. I mean, I, I still try to do. I still do our own marketing in our in our wine distribution business and we do our own my own artwork and stuff there but you know I kind of missed having yeah. a bit more creativity in, in, in that world yeah um, and this is something I have a three-year-old and a one-year-old oh my god uh, and this, congratulations <laughs> <laughs> this place kept me up more than they, they did because, <laughs> wow, because all the things it. I was thinking that night this is your other baby though it, it like, really yeah. is it, it essentially is and it's you know you think about just the little things like where the hooks go and yeah and what kind of screws should go in here even corks be in the right base like right yeah, places, yeah exactly so there's I, and I'm a very Detail-oriented person. Um, OCD, yeah, terribly yeah. Uh, micromanager. Artist, I, I guess that's so, every artist. Right and and you know you want to, you. For me, I wanted to be able to carry out my own vision rather than um, um, worrying that someone else wasn't going to be able to carry out right. what I had in my head. Okay, so the 15 years, I feel like a lot of young people, millennials, Generation Z, they have a really huge issue with delayed gratification. It took you 15 years to bring this to life, so what advice would you give millennials who want to do something but they give up after a year, or they want it now, 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 and they don't understand that it. it takes time. Right. Yeah. Right, I mean, it, it, it takes patience, and I can't say I'm, I have the most patience. I mean, I'm, I'm you not have to, though, but, but yeah. I, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, you know, as long as, you gotta find something you love in the meantime. There's passion projects, yeah. uh, there's things that everybody wants to do with they love to do for their right. job, right? right? Everybody wants that. Um, but sometimes that. in between, there are things that you need to do to get to right. what you love. Like what you need to do. Absolutely, bartending. Yeah. Yeah. I never thought I would be a bartender in New York City. Yeah. I thought I was just going to go there and be a teacher. But yeah. here I found something I became very passionate about and loved and was able to turn that into my passion project. It's blowing my mind right well, now. <laughs> <laughs> because I was just talking about this on my um, Instagram Live no. about how a lot of people go searching for their passion. Mm -hmm. but. You didn't really go searching, it kind of just happened. Like right. You put yourself out there to experience new opportunities, right. you bartended, right. and now you have great success off of just experiencing life and letting things kind of naturally happen. Right. Yeah. I think anytime you go into a place, it can be anywhere in the world, you can see if somebody puts their heart and soul into something. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and if, if there's any definition of a passion project for for us and for me, this this was this certainly it. it. And, and you know, my family is very understanding that yeah. I'm putting everything I can into this, yeah. um, and and I think it shows on a daily basis. Not only in in the way it looks, because aesthetically, 
it can be pleasing, but if you're not putting out a great quality product too, yeah. they're always going to come, come back. Because co customer retention is hard. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so why, why the Bahamas? Well, my wife's Bahamian, so we moved here. Okay! <laughs> uh, when we were living in New York City, it was one of those things where um, we didn't know how long we were going to be there, but we always knew at some point we were going to move, to move the and it was going to be when we started a family. Yeah. Uh, and we were getting ready to start a family and all that kind of stuff. So she was born and raised here, and, and she wanted to have her children born and raised here, and I said, okay. Okay, yeah. Not too terrible. Okay. Uh, so we're here now, and you know we planned our roots, and this is kind of uh, where we're just I feel like it's hard for a lot of people to move from where they're comfortable because you know you're from wait were you are you from georgia no uh, okay. that's the thing is i spent my whole life in hershey pennsylvania uh, okay. until i was 18 okay. and then i moved to savannah georgia I was there for about seven years okay and then i moved up so, to new york for okay. about seven years and now we've been here for about seven years so for you it was easy because you've kind of already been the person who you're like a nomad you right been, like all right. over okay but i feel like for a lot of young people sometimes they get so stuck in comfortability they don't want to like go to college somewhere else they want to experience different parts do you feel like that's important I think that's, I mean, that really makes you who you are. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's one of those things where um, I wouldn't be the same person if I stayed in one place, that's for course, sure. Yeah. I, I, not that you become sheltered. You know, I'm, I'm from a small town um, in rural America. Yeah, I know where Hershey is. That yes. was a school in New Haven, Connecticut. Oh, yeah? Nothing, yeah, you yeah, so New not too yeah, far yeah. away. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, you know, I, I, I wouldn't say that, I'm not by no means saying that people are sheltered, you know, you live in one place your whole life, but you become much more worldly and you become a little bit more um, um, open to the world, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going exactly. back, I just want to make sure I don't offend anybody in my hometown, that's all. I don't yeah. think, but I, I agree with you, though, because yeah. I feel like, for me, I grew up in Rancho Palos Verdes, yeah. which is a very affluent, yeah. the suburbs yeah. of LA, you live on a hill, yeah. like it's peacocks are walking around. It's yeah. very like surreal and when I was 18 I was like this is not how real life is. I don't believe right. that this is what life is like. Right. So for me I, I didn't apply to any schools in California. I didn't apply to any schools on the west coast. I was like I'm gonna go far far away. Right. Either Wisconsin or Connecticut and I ended up living there for That's five fun. years. That's great. Yeah I think it's important for young people to right. see parts of the world if they can afford to do so. Right and yeah and and you know it's, it's not like you have to Fly to France. Yeah, yeah, or, yeah, yeah. Or, just know, go to a different city, yeah, different go to, state. Or just go to a city. Yeah, right? any you city. Can experience yeah. Different cultures and yeah. different, um, you know, just everything. You yeah. become, become an open minded, more open minded. Yeah. Um, just and naturally. that's when your passion comes. Yeah, it does. It yeah, does. It that's kind of frees you a little bit. Yeah, right? exactly. It's funny okay. because that we have this conversation now because I just got an email from one of my, my very best friend growing yeah. up. Uh, my parents went to visit him and um, we're showing him pictures and stuff of, of the new of Bonnie Place, Bonds yeah. and stuff like that. And he wrote back and he's like, he said these words exactly. He said, um, you and I grew up from the same place, and look at the, the same people, right? And he said, how in the world are you able to design that when we did the same things growing up? And it's just one of those things. And he's not, he's a worldly person too. He's, mm -hmm. he's amazing. Um, he's been all around. Um, but you know, like, Exposures and, and to different things, mm -hmm. uh, different people. And but you allowed yourself to experience each place you were in. Though. Yeah, like, that's what. It is. But you know, art school is another thing that opens you up a little that's bit true. too. That's true. You're I like a natural creative. Like a, yeah, yeah. But I mean, yeah. And I think everybody's a little different. Some people aren't as creative, but right. they excel in other places. Like yeah. I really envy people who can play musical instrument, instruments Same. and pick them up. I, I think it's yeah. incredible. It is. Um, and I wish I could do that, but I mean, maybe that's not my Same. thing. I mean, you can learn it, but maybe it's not my. My given yeah. Um, kind of thing. So, how did you decide that this was what you were going to do? Because I feel for a lot of clients that I have, the number one thing they tell me is like, I just don't know how to make a decision. Like, there are so many young people. I think they want to do everything, and they don't understand that you can't do everything. It's like a jack of trades and a master of none. They don't want to be like that. So, what advice would you give? And also, just talk a little bit about how you decided to pursue this. Well, for us, um, William uh, is my. William Young is my business partner, and he's Young's Fine Wine, um, uh, vice president. Oh, this is his? This part is his, is the Young's Fine Wine is his. And then I, him and I are Bobby Bonds. Yeah. Wow. So he, Will, Will is younger than me. He's actually, I think, three years younger than me. And he started this in his vision, and I'm his vice president to, to run wow. this place. And what we did is we were able to grow this place from him and I sitting on their, on their own coffee table. Yeah. Um, and that's where we were working out of for, for a few years, or for a year, and grew this into a, a legitimate big but, yeah. distributor in the Bahamas. 
And then um, it was always my dream to start the bar, and he always backed me, and this is kind of like where we got to finally be able to get things yeah. going. So, okay. Yeah. So basically just staying determined and, and focusing on one thing will allow for you to produce a quality product. Yeah, and, and I think for me, it was, for me in, in particular, it was, it had to be the right place, it had to be the right time. I'm not just gonna go, we're not gonna throw our money at some random right location yeah, yeah, or yeah. if we're not ready to, to get it going. Like, it was the right time for yeah. us to do this. Your market has to be good here because there's only like two boutique coffee shops. Yeah, and So when really, I came in here, yeah. I fell in love. I was like, <gasps> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, well, I mean, and, and that's the thing is we have a lot of respect for people like Whoops and Stings and those guys yeah, who, yeah, yeah. who were the first to do they it, were, and, yeah. and I have a lot of respect for those guys, yeah. And but there's always room for more. There I always mean, is. Because people want a quality product, right? Yeah. But not only that, but it, it allows us to push each other, yeah. pick up it our does. games, right? It does, I mean, yeah. competition is healthy yeah. as long as you're, you're, you're good yeah. at it, you know what I mean? I will um, say that this is like when you come in here, it's more than just the coffee, it's an experience. Right, and that was the hope. You know, there's a bit of historical value to the place mm -hmm. where we're trying to um, keep people aware of the, the history of the Bahamas. And, yeah. You know, the, between the antiques and the newspapers. I'm telling you, that type so. of detail really blew yeah. my mind. Yeah. yeah. And it's yeah. nice to hear people, Bahamians, come in and say, look, there's my um, family on the oh, wall. Oh, that's and, awesome. And it happens often, um, or I was there at this time. And, that's awesome. You know, it's really so cool you're to see connected that. with yeah. the city. Yeah. yeah. What's the one piece of advice you would give young people? Just general, and it could be life, it could be work, it could be personal development, but something that you think every young person should know. Um, boy, that's loaded. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I mean, I, I, you know, things don't just happen, you know, like you, you gotta work for what you, yeah. what you get sometimes. Yeah. And the more work you put in, uh, the harder you put in, and the bigger the reward it's going to yeah. be. And I think, um, you know, I don't like to generalize people and I don't like to generalize an entire age group. Um, <laughs> and, and, and because, you know, there's some incredible hardworking people out there. And yeah. Nowadays, and they're incredibly talented. Um, but our so generation, my generation is completely different from, like, older generations. Yeah. Completely. Like, our mindset well, is, like... Every single generation we look at... It's different, it's, it's yeah. yeah. There's a different mindset. Yeah. And that's not a, always a bad thing. Yeah, it's just um, a different time, too. So it is. Yeah. It, it, it is. Um, but, I mean, just, you know... Like I said, it, it, it's just one thing is, yeah, work your ass off. I like and, you. And it'll be, <laughs> hopefully it'll pay off for you. And it won't always pay off for you, but yeah. like, hopefully it will. Uh, yeah, right. yeah. Thank you so much for doing this. You're I always awesome. ask every person I interview this very last yeah. question, and it's, what is your why? What is my why? Yeah. What is why your why? am I doing like, it? Why do you do what you do, and does how does it fulfill you? Just like, what is your why that it's keeps you question. going? Everybody says that. I I'm, I'm, I'm a very driven person, so I am, um, uh, success is something that um, drives me every day. Yeah. Uh, which is a good thing and a bad thing because yeah. um, when I hit, if, if I set a goal and I get there, it isn't like, yes, it's we did it. It's, it's like, like check mark. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, <laughs> but success is a driver, but to be completely honest, all, all I truly care about is. Um, um, uh, not pleasing, but um, uh, making my, my family proud, especially yeah, especially my kids one yeah. day. They don't know anything about it right now, but they one day I, I want people, I want my kids to be, be proud of me. They will. And, and have people speak um, that we did something well. You so, did. Yeah. You did. Thank you. Just as a visitor, I have to say, like, I'm very impressed <laughs> you. with you as a person and, and what you've created. And it's very inspiring Appreciate for it. me. Thank and you. I hope that one day I can be as successful. Oh, no, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so Thank much you. for watching. Thank you for doing this. Check back every week for new YouTube videos. Thanks, guys.